Geneva, thanks so much. Okay, today we are talking a little bit about girl power on Good Morning Idaho. Executive Director of Girls on the Run, uh, Treasure Valley Chapter, Tony Ramey. She joins us live in studio to talk a little bit about tomorrow's run. And it's a 5K, and we want to know about um, how everyone can get a part of this. Uh, good morning, Tony. Thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. It sounds like with the weather that Geneva's calling for, I'm like, this is perfect. We can get outside and run. <laughs> It looks like we got a winner tomorrow. I was going to say, the, <laughs> yesterday was very windy, and I was taking a very nice like power walk, and the wind was just pushing against me. So I guess if I had turned around, that would have helped, <laughs> you know, just get some of that wind into my back there. But um, talk a little bit about Girls on the Run. For someone who's maybe not familiar, what's, what's the idea behind it? What's the mission? Yeah, so Girls on the Run is um, a program that serves girls in third through eighth grades, and it's an after-school program that helps them develop important social, emotional, and physical skills um, while being mentored by caring coaches and having fun and developing relationships with others. I'm familiar with Girls on the Run, and I love what you guys do. And I love that, you know, especially for girls, I think there's a certain age where maybe you fall out of some of those things where you just, maybe you're not mm, bonding with other females mm -hmm. like that, you're not exercising that way. It's just like a good thing to just get out and be active and it doesn't have to be like yeah. a, anything too, too serious. Yeah. Just staying active, um, you know? We teach girls to take care of their whole selves. So it's their physical self, their emotional self, their social um, aspects, and really it teaches them to um, be able to be resilient as they get older and they face challenges growing up like peer pressure or negative influences. They, they go through our program, they complete a 5K at the end. There's some aspect of identifying as an athlete that helps build their self-confidence and gives them um, uh, the faith that they can or face hard challenges in their lives as they go forward. Yeah, absolutely. And especially when you talk about mm, all of the screen time you know, we talk about, you know, uh, young girls with Instagram and, I mean, bullying online. And, and if you sit behind that screen, like, again, yep. creating some problems um, where you're just like, do you want to be friends with these people when you're hiding behind screens? But getting out and yep. just, like, leaving that all behind, it just, I think it's so helpful to remind people that, you know, that's not the real world. Nope. <laughs> Men mental health can be so important for kids as they grow up and being outside and getting fresh air and vitamin D and physical activity while, you know, forming positive relationships with either peers or adults, that can really bolster a kid's self-esteem. I love it so much. Okay, so what's happening tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, what can people expect? So tomorrow is our big end of season 5K and it's taking place at Kleiner Park in Meridian, which is right behind the Village Shopping yes. Center. And we're gonna have about 1,500 people, 500 girls, families, coaches, and it's really about completion. It's not about competition, and it is one of the most inspiring days you'll see. I love it. Okay, so what's next after the 5K? So we also offer summer programs. So we offer summer camps that are half-day summer camps in June, and then um, we are preparing for fall season, where we, again, will be serving girls at schools throughout the Treasure Valley. I love it. It is. It's like a year round thing. I mean, we really have nice mild temperatures, I think, year round. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I'm biased, but uh, I love it here. And you can basically, whether it's taking a walk outside, you can get outside almost all the time here. Yep. So just to get it started at any moment, you know, what would you tell someone who's like, oh, that's like, I've never done this before. What would you say to someone who hasn't started running yet. <laughs> All it takes is putting on your shoes and taking that first step. Um, yeah. Start slow, um, take walk breaks when you need to. Mm -hmm. um, you can walk the whole thing. It's yeah. more than you would have done if you didn't start. So, so true, get your steps in. Um, talk a little bit about how you can get involved. Um, we're f where's more information on that? Yeah, so um, if you would like your daughter to be involved or we are always looking for um, coaches to help us, oh, yeah. um, you can go to our website, which is Girls on the Run, Valley, you can just Google that Beautiful. and information is available there. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to take a look outside of the Grove because